Negative 1, 1 third, 2 thirds, 2, and 3. So if 1 plus 1 over x equals 2 minus 2 over x, then x equals blank. So straightforward algebra problem. 1 plus 1 over x equals 2 minus 2 over x. First thing we want to do is get those x's out of the denominators. So we can multiply this whole equation times x because uh, multiplying it times x will get the x's out of the denominators and the fractions. x times 1 is x. x times 1 over x gives us 1. 2 times x equals 2 minus, uh, and then x times 2 over x, uh, sorry, this equals 2x, <laughs> oops, um, 2x minus, and then this equals, of course, 2. That's one big minus there. We can subtract an x from both sides. So we get x, and uh, then also add 2 to both sides. To get them isolated, separated on, the, on both sides of the equal sign, we get x equals 3. Answer choice E. I'm ready to move on to the next one, and I hope you are too, because I'm the one who gets to decide. So, uh, 176, number 169. The beginning of the second column on page 176. So we have... 288, 320, 2880, 3200, and 28,800. I detect a recurring trend here. We just noticed from the answer choices that these two guys are just uh, different uh, powers of 10 of 288, and then these two are similar also. So looks like there's room for some kind of, some kind of uh, computational error and a conceptual error. So, uh, last year, for every 100 million vehicles that traveled on a certain highway, 96 vehicles were involved in accidents. If 3 billion vehicles traveled on the highway last year, how many of those vehicles were involved in accidents? And then they just uh, express to you... Um, what they uh, understand 1 billion to be, because actually um, in different dialects of English, uh, what we consider a billion in American English would be considered a thousand million in a different in a different dialect, so they go ahead and specify just to be clear. So um, the ratio that they give us is 96 vehicles per 100 million vehicles. 100 million. I'm not going to rewrite vehicles, but I will write 100 million. And so, so we need to know how many that is uh, when, so, you know, just imagine it as a fraction, 100 mil. I'm not going to write out all the zeros. Uh, so that's how many vehicles when it's uh, 3 billion It's a good question. So really, this one is just a matter of converting um, the fraction into this format. How many times does 100 million go into 3 billion? Um, it is, in fact, 30 times that number. So if we do 30 times the numerator and the denominator, we will end up with our mystery guest number of vehicles. So 96 times 30 equals 2,880. Answer choice C. And then you can see why uh, two of the other answer choices, answer choices A and E, um, are simply different powers of 10 times this, times 288, um, because they are assuming that, well, somebody out there is going to um, misunderstand you know, the number of times that you do 100 million into 1 billion dropping off or adding on a zero when they don't need to. So, answer choice C. One, seventy-six, number 
66, 170. So 60, 80, 100, 120, and 140. So 30% of the members of a swim club have passed the life-saving test. Among the members who have not passed the test, 12 have taken the preparatory course and 30 have not taken the course. How many members are there in the swim club? So again, you know, I'm a big fan of this chart. Uh, we have those who passed. It's an S. Uh, those who have not yet passed, we won't consider it a failure. They may just not have taken the test. Um, and then we have those who took the prep course and those who have not taken the prep course. It's actually kind of funny that I have a hard time not making sound effects when I start drawing lines in situations like this. Uh, I don't know what that says about me as a person. Hopefully nothing too bad. So this one isn't going to work exactly the same way as the other one we just did a little bit ago with a chart, but it's still good for organizing the information. So among the members who have not passed, so that's these guys, um, 12 have taken the prep course and 30 have not. So we have 12 here and 30 here. Um, and then the only other bit of information we have, 30% of the members of the swim club have passed the life-saving test. So that's these guys here. So this number is 30% of the total, which, if you're doing the math at home, means that this number here is 70%, the remaining 70% of the members of the club. So um, we know that uh, this total, 30 plus 12, is 70% of, of whatever the total is. So if we do that over here, um, that's 42 total. So 42 out of whatever the total is for the members of the group equals 70%. So then we get 7x equals 420 and divide both sides by 7x equals 60. Oh, to get the 7x equals 420, I just cross multiplied. I multiplied both sides times x and then the both sides by 10. It cancels out the fractions and, and switches things around. So x equals 60. There are 60 members of the club. It's a big swim club. I don't know if they would all fit in the pool at the same time. We will move on now to number 171. Okay, 176. Number 171. 2, 3, 6, 16, and 17. So what's the difference between the sixth and the fifth terms of the sequence 2, 4, 7, whose nth term is the defined, basically, as n plus 2 to the n minus 1? So we need the difference between the sixth term and the fifth term. So the difference between them will be the sixth minus the fifth equals the answer. The sixth term in the sequence is then equal the nth term, you know, replace n with whatever term you're trying to figure out. That would be uh, six plus uh, two to the 6 minus 1 minus the fifth term, which would be uh, 5 plus 2 to the 5 minus 1, because again, we're replacing the number of the term um, every place where it says n. So that's, of course, uh, 6 plus 2 to the fifth minus uh, 5 plus 2 to the fourth. And in this particular case, um, it's perhaps easier to think of it as, um, as you know, first off, we, we can kind of get rid of the parentheses. So 6 plus 2 to the fifth minus 5 minus 2 to the fourth. 
we can reorganize things here. We get 6 minus 5 plus 2 to the 5th minus 2 to the 4th. We're just putting them in a different order. Um, and then once you have this quantity here, uh, 2 to the 5th and 2 to the 4th have a common factor, namely 2 to the 4th. So we have 6 minus 5 plus 2 to the 4th times 2, because 2 to the 4th times 2 raises it to one more power. It becomes 2 to the 5th. Um, 2 minus 1. So we have 1 plus 2 to the 4th times 1. So 2 to the 4th plus 1. 2 to the 4th is 16. So 16 plus 1 equals 17. Answer choice E. Just going back and making sure I haven't skipped over any questions. I almost did that once, and uh, I would feel pretty bad, and I would have to go back and do it again in a future broadcast if I accidentally skipped one. So that's number 171. We move on to 172. So 176, number 172. So we have 15, 14, negative 24, negative 25, and negative 26. So if the quantity x minus 1 squared equals 400, which of the following could be the value of x minus 5? All right. So x minus 1, quantity squared equals 400. So the first thing we want to do then is uh, take the square root of both sides. So um, the square root of x minus 1 squared. Um, now we don't actually know uh, whether that's going to be positive or negative, um, whether, whether each of these was a positive or a negative number. So in theory, actually, it could have just as easily come out to be um, well, we know that each of these uh, equals the square root of 400. So x minus 1, oof, x minus 1 is either uh, positive 20 or x minus 1 equals negative 20. Because um, if x minus 1 equaled negative 20, if we squared it, it could have equaled 400. So not knowing what the value of x minus 1 actually is, we have to account for both possible values. So um, we can just kind of solve here, add 1 to both sides. We get x equals uh, 21, or x equals negative 19. Of course, that's not what the question is asking. The question is asking what the possible values are of x minus 5. So x minus 5, if we subtract another 5, we get 16. Here, x minus 5 equals negative 24. 16 is not given as one of the answer choices, but negative 24 is. And there we have it, answer choice C. Let's see, last one on page 176 is number 173.